Hey gardening friends, coming to you today in the middle of our pokeweed patch. Pokeweed or pokeberry is a large native herbaceous perennial here in the United States. Sometimes it's also called inkberry because the berries were used to make ink back in the day. Not usually something you would find in the garden just because it's rather large. Uh, it can grow up to 10 feet tall. And all these berries will seed themselves and it does sell so pretty readily. So we're in end of August. The berries are starting to come on. The great thing about the berries is if you love birds, they love pokeberry. And you will attract bluebirds, cedar wax wings, migrating orioles, uh, mockingbirds, catbirds, robins. They love the berries, even cardinals and some small mammals will also come for the berries. So because I have a bigger yard and I have an area where I can let these things go, I do, mainly for the birds. Uh, the plants die down after a hard frost, hard freeze, and the berries will actually dry. So if they fall towards the ground, the birds can still eat them through the winter or even into the spring if they don't find them um, in the fall. So the one thing about pokeweed, the baby seedlings pull up pretty easily, but this plant has a huge taproot. And um, after the first year, the taproot just grows and grows. And then you definitely have to take a shovel to get it out of your garden. So another thing to know about pokeberry is that all parts of the plant are poisonous to people, dogs, and livestock. So even though the birds can eat the berries, we cannot. The berries are the least poisonous part, but you don't want to have them around if you've got inquisitive kids or dogs that eat pretty much anything. So that's another uh, thing to be aware of if you think you want to grow it for your wildlife habitat. If you're weeding it, you should also wear gloves. If you have sensitive skin, it can, the sap can cause dermatitis. It grows best in average medium moist soils that are well drained, full sun to part shade. I don't think it's that picky. Um, wherever the birds drop it, it seems to grow, but I do have it in some shadier spots. It's also pretty prone to viruses. So you probably wanna weed out the ones that you see, like this one here has these mottled leaves on it. And that is a sign that it's got some kind of virus. So the berries are interesting. The flowers come out, oh, let's see, end of June, I think. And they'll probably keep producing some into fall. But then they turn, we get these nice panicles of berries. And then, I mean, the, the pretty purple ones. Another feature of the plant is the red stem. And it is very architectural if you just had one in a garden somewhere. But again, you have to be careful because they do seed around a lot. <laughs> this is a huge patch that I have that just kind of grew up on its own. But again, I have a large backyard. This is more in my habitat area. Um, and I've left it to attract the birds. So pokeweed, you probably might see it out on a walk. Don't be tempted to eat the berries. Oh, and here's uh, one with a flower still on it. So this is what the flowers look like. Yep, so don't be tempted to eat it. Don't make jams out of it. Don't confuse it with raspberries or anything like that. Um, but again, if you have a good bird habitat and you want to add something for your fruit eating birds, try pokeweed, pokeberry. Um, there is an ornamental variegated one that you might be able to find 
at a specialty nursery. But normally they just show up in your yard because some bird has dropped a seed in your garden. All right, have a great day.